80% of our sales used to be into the UK and it's affected us so much so that our products are now 20% more expensive in the UK than they were this time last year. So any farmer that we quoted last year that said, okay, we'll buy off you next year, is now looking to buy off us and we're suddenly 20% more expensive just down to currencies. Um, these farmers are now pulling the sales and saying, no, we're going to wait till we see what happens. Another problem is farmers don't know where their next payment is coming from. They don't know if it's coming from Europe, they don't know if it's coming from the British government, so they're holding off. They have the money, but they're just not going to risk it, and especially when currencies have gone so bad for them. At home in Ireland, uh, we find the agri-industry is slow, and um, there's a lot of competition in it, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but we find that the tillage man is really missing out lately. Um, a lot of the grants have come out uh, for the dairy man, for the livestock man, anyone that's dealing with animals, um, and they, they're getting grant aided to buy certain machines. Um, the, the person that really buys the machines is the tillage man. He buys the ring rollers, the chaser bins. Um, and don't get me wrong, the, the dairy man does buy the slurry tanker and all, and all them kind of machines, but his business is predominantly animals, where the, the tillage man, his business is mainly machinery, and they get no government support. There is talk of the TAMS grant coming out, but I think something needs to be done big time because they've had a few years of low prices, inputs are up drastically, fertilizer prices are through the roof, and um, we, we need to do something for the tillage man because they are people that want to innovate, they're people that want to spend money, but they just can't do it because of bad prices, um, no government support, and uh, yeah, they're just they're struggling.